Hey everyone, happy St. Patrick's Day and most of all, happy Seed and Weed Wednesday. So last week we planted our seedlings and I walked you through that process. And you may have seen my excitement on Friday when we had some little babies that sprung up. Um, and so today I'm gonna talk to you about, you know, where our seedlings are right now, what they should be looking like, what issues you might be running into and what it means. Okay, so um, let's have a look and see how ours are doing. I'm really excited to share this with you. Okay, so this is my setup. You know, I have my light, I have the cover on. Um, there was a lot more moisture, but just before I started filming this, I had taken it off to check on them. So, um, so we have quite a few that have started and you'll see these first leaves here. These are called the cotyledon leaves, okay? So um, I don't actually have any true first leaves yet, so I'm not ready to fertilize. We only fertilize when the real actual leaves of the plant start forming. Um, it has, your seeds have all the nutrients it needs up until that point. So we don't wanna over fertilize. And you'll see there's a lot of, well, okay, so this one has one just starting, um, but there are a lot in these rows here that haven't started yet. So that just means that that has a longer germination period. It means it's, it's gonna take a little bit longer for those seeds to be ready to emerge. Um, and it could be their position to the light and access to water. So like this is supposed to uptake the water itself. And some of the cells I have to supplement, like this one is gonna need a little bit more water because it doesn't seem to be uptaking as well as some of the others. Um, so they will pop up at different times. If you have some that never come up, it just means that maybe those seeds were a little older um, or they weren't handled properly for proper germination. So <clears throat> that might happen. Um, not every seed will grow. And you can always, if you don't see it, give it like 11 days. It's usually seven to 10 days that um, germination happens. If you don't see it, let's say in two weeks, you can plant another one in that spot and it'll just be a couple weeks behind. Okay, so um, if you're having issues, so I've gotten some messages from some people like, what does it mean if you know this happens or that happens? So I thought I'd go over it in this video with you. Um, so there's some pretty basic signs. Your, your plants, your seedlings will communicate with you as to what they need. Um, so if your leaves are kind of droopy, you know, these all look good, <clears throat> but if they were kind of drooping over, if they weren't standing upright, then that would indicate to me that they need more water. They're very thirsty. Just like people get droopy when they're thirsty, your plants do too. <laughs> um, so pay attention to that. Um, if your seedlings are falling down into the soil or the leaves are yellowing, that's an indication that you have too much water and you might be starting to grow mold. You know, so we do have a very warm environment. I have a heating mat here. I have the lights up here and we have the, you know, plastic enclosure on it. And so that is you know, primed to grow mold if you're not careful. So that's a sign that you have a mold infection is if they start falling to the soil, okay? Um, if your seedlings get really tall and leggy is what it's often referred to, but they're just like spindly, not a lot of leaves and they're really tall, that means that they are not getting enough light. They're growing to try and seek more light to get closer to the light. Um, so if you have a lamp, you can move it closer, you know, move it down a little closer to your plant. Um, if you don't have a light, I would invest, you know, you can get some pretty inexpensive ones on Amazon. Um, <clears throat> it's a really good idea. You'll get much stronger seedlings if you have them. Uh, and then the last tip that I have, 
is if you start to see some browning, oh, that's not brown. I was thinking that that's brown. That's the actual seed. I love when that happens when you, oh, when you can see how the leaves emerged from the seed and it's still attached. But um, if you had some brown tips or like dryness around the edges of your leaves, that means that they're actually too close to the light. They're getting too much light or too much fertilizer. So you, again, that's why I'm not fertilizing this. They have everything they need right now with these first leaves um, because they're not true leaves, okay? Um, once you do have true leaves, which will probably be next week, I'll go over how I fertilize, what I use and all that um, next week in our Seed and Weed Wednesday. But if you're further along and you want to fertilize, just make sure that you're doing a small amount. Spread it out. You can do up to two times a week if you're um, diluting it and making it just a small amount. You don't want to overdo it too much. You know, again, you'll get those brown burnt leaves and it's actually unhealthy for your plant. So just a little bit, okay? All right, that's what we have for today. Happy Seed and Weed Wednesday. Enjoy. I hope you all have little babies poking up and you're enjoying it. Talk to them, poke them. Um, you'll see I like touch them a lot. This actually makes them stronger and more resilient if you do this. Um, so I try and do that every day. I just kind of come out and talk to them while I poke them around, wiggle them. Um, cause if you think about it outside, they're getting stepped on and all that. So they become very resilient indoors. They can become a little soft. They're not as hardy. And then when you transplant them, they might not survive. So just like our children, we want them to be resilient. We want our plants to be resilient as well. All right. Enjoy you guys.